make sure you check out my website pcteach.me where you can look at all the videos in particular category orders also have the ability to contribute your own posts if you wish and I hope to see you there so the final dimension hierarchy, uh, sorry, dimension structure we're going to talk about is going to be the parent-child. Now for this, our current setup doesn't have it. So um, if we open up the um, latest project, um, which is going to be parent-child relationships, um, it'll probably already be done on your um, example. But what I'm going to have to do at this point is actually um, create um, a little bit more to my data source view because at the moment data source view has got my customer information products and so forth what I really desperately need in here is also the employee table so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add remove a table and then I'm going to look for dim employees and just chuck that in and okay now it's probably going to be all on its lonesome oh no there is a link what link is that going to oh spot the link keep following it down so it's sales territory okay that's fine but in more importantly here, can you see this arrow? Self-referencing. It's a parent-child relationship. So if we go on that, parent-employee key to employee key. So we've got a form of relationship here um, that we need to actually explore. So I'm just going to save that. Um, and now that's available to you. So if I go to dimensions and do a new dimension, um, in here I'm going to use an existing table from my data source view. And in this case I'm going to use dim employee and there's my employee key and then click on next um, same related table sales now I'm not interested and then next again and then it says okay right well what fields do we want notice it's bringing in the parent employee and the employee key obviously because they are primary and foreign keys um, I'm going to bring in um, the first name last name and title hire date and what else have we got well that'll do and then we'll just click on to next and what do we want to call it I don't want to call it dim employees I'm going to call it employee and finish and there we go but can you see immediately it's actually already worked it out for us it's already worked out that there's actually a self-referencing um, value on here and notice how the icon is different from the others so let's just process this straight away and just see what's going on so again I'm just going to need to put in my password and there we go it's now done um, we'll now go to the browser tab and just reconnect just to be on the safe side so parent employee key and we've got 112 all right lose 112 don't know oh seven what's seven? Oh, two. But you can see there is some structure here but we haven't got a clue as to what this is all actually meaning so this is where we can really do with um, creating a little bit more of a um, structure on this so what we need to do now is look at um, defining a hierarchy that will actually do this parent child in a little bit more detail now one of the ways we could do this is just simply by going down here and looking at the key column that's fine but the name column we don't really want it to show the parent employee key we want to actually show the actual name now in this case in the employee table I get everything again but really I could do with a full name so what I'm going to do is just cancel this for a moment and go back to the data source view and then in the employee something that we've done already which hopefully you should be able to create yourselves um, is the first name and last name value so I won't bore you with me creating it I'll just skip to the end okay so I've got the full name thing I'm just gonna save that again um, go back to the employees now is it here the chances are no so oh no there we go it has blinked back into life sometimes you may have to close the dimension down and go back in um, but it's there now so I'm just gonna slap that there for the time being so we've got the full name but back in the employee key what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the name column is actually the full name uh, la, 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 la. where are we there it is okay and let's just save that and reprocess and run and then close close again so let's just go to the browser and have a look we need to reconnect
interestingly it's not actually showing it so I'm just going to close it down we go wonders of Uh, interestingly, it's not putting in. Oh, there we go. Full name. So the structure is not there now. The reason for this, and I will be completely honest with you, I've um, made a bit of mistake. And normally, if I'm doing mistakes whilst doing videos, I stop, rewind, and re-record. However, I'm leaving this one in because it just goes to show how easy it is to get caught out. Now, what's actually happened is that the parent employee key is working fine you don't really technically see this particular key so where I've got this dim employees full name is rubbish so I'm just going to highlight it and delete it because fundamentally what are we actually looking at the parent employee key is actually looking at the employee key so what I'm going to do is go to the employee key and do this name column so I'll find the full name and put it in and then reprocess and then what we'll find is that that will work so legitimately hands in air I'm sorry I made a mistake here um, but it just goes to show how easy it is to, to make the make the mistake so I'll just close that and now if I go to browser there's the structure as it is as it was if I now reconnect you should see now I've actually got the friendly names now as you can see what I've got is I've got this information um, going downwards um, so we've got all as the top level then we've got uh, Ken Sanchez and then the actual employees going underneath um, two things one can you see we've got this level two level three level four and so forth so what if we wanted to change that so what we could do is if we go back into the parent employee structure and then uh, where are we where's it gone can't see it now for looking um, naming template um, so it says specifies definition of how levels in parent child hierarchies are named for example CEO VP and so forth so if we go into here level one is all that we've just seen so if we just put in uh, CEO and then underneath it um, director and then uh, manager and then um, employee and we'll leave it at that so if we now reprocess this and there we go that we're done let's go to the browser and reconnect what we should now see is can you see now we've got CEO director manager and then if there's anything below that level employee um, anything below that level it will just go back to um, well the, the tier underneath it so employee one employee two so <clears throat> this is an example of um, sort of like a ragged hierarchy because we have no control over where this ends um, there's also another particular problem with this um, and it depends on your point of view um, you may be able to see it at the moment but can you see that this David M Bradley is actually in the list twice it is there and also there why because if we looked at the individual record for David M Bradley it would actually say the manager of David M Bradley is himself because that's the lowest level of the chain so what we may want to say is say well actually I don't want to actually see David M Bradley in the lower levels because he's up here and he should be nowhere else Let's just check this one Roberto as well there you go first one down he's, he's there again so what do we do to get rid of that well we go back into the dimension hierarchy and we need to actually adjust certain options on here so immediately you'll be going down this list and there's really two areas you'll you'll look at and go ha it could be here um, the first one which is really a misnomer is the root member if and you can see it says parent is blank self or missing so let's just talk about those um, if you have a blank parent um, ID number what do you want to do with it um, well you make it a root if it's blank if it's self if it's missing so you can control it in each one of those ways but the danger is if I choose it on one of those and then click on um, process if the data is not form formulated correctly it will error so for example parent is self if I run this now it will die the reason being is that um, when we go down to those particular um, people um, on the low level um, their parent ID is set on zero um, because they've reached the um, bottom of the chain so 
um, what we need to do really is stop the automation of these um, other other members because technically that that manager is a, an employee as well but we don't want it to be shown so what we really want to say is let me just reprocess that get back to where it was what we really want to say is um, if I run again is without refreshing I don't want that person to appear there because he's there but technically he will be there because he is a manager so what we need to do is let analysis services be smart and say well actually we don't want that value to appear so what we can do is back in the attributes of it rather than clicking on the one that we just went on to go to the members with data at the moment it's on non leaf data is visible let's do non leaf data is hidden and then let's reprocess and all being well And we go back to the browser and reconnect. So this M. Bradley, David M. Bradley, let's just check now. There you go, gone. Because we've told it that although it is legitimately right for it to appear there, we don't really want it there anymore. We want it um, at, the, at the top because technically he's referencing himself. Um, he is his own manager. Um, so what we want to do is um, remove them from the list and therefore we get rid of the um, duplication. So there we go, all of them have gone and we've now got a proper hierarchy set up. And then the final thing is employee, parent employee key. Do we really want to call it that? Well we can just call it um, um, hierarchy or um, type um, people. I don't know, it's probably not the best thing in the world to call it but there we go, we've now got a hierarchy. So from start to finish then we've gone through quite a lot of dimensions and probably spent well over an hour just talking about dimensions without even going into the cubes but what you'll soon realize is that the majority of your work always comes from dimensions it does not come from the fact table the fact table is just giving you a number all the hard work is done in the dimension hierarchy and how we would set them up so the next step from this now is let's try and put all of this together into a cube which is a lot more meaningful then we're going to start talking about the um, outputs for example using Excel 2007 you could use something else but we'll be using 2007 because we can look at things like what we talked about earlier with these um, sort of test folder values that we, we put in on the customer table as well.